how good is the RX 470? Well, if you look in the comment section of my TikTok feed, then you're probably going to think it's absolutely terrible, but it's not. This card is rocking NVIDIA's new DLSS3 architecture with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. 8 gigabytes is just becoming obsolete at this point. But at the 599 price point, people are probably just ready to turn the other way because it's no secret in gaming performance, AMD's price to performance is just better. However, that's a decision that I will leave up to you. Throughout these benchmarks, we ran an i7-12700K with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory at 6,000 megahertz. First up, we're going with everybody's favorite Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. Almost everybody. For this benchmark, we went for 1080p at the ultra preset settings. Yes, sir. Dang, I got another one. I hate that you can just run over people in this game. So I'm getting almost 200 FPS in the Gulag, which means multiplayer. I could probably get 240 if I played a basic set. Hey! Next, we played some good old fork knife, and we even turned ray tracing on to really just stress out this GPU. I forgot to record Fortnite while live, so the quality might not be as good, but you can at least see the FPS numbers and the settings. Let's go to settings. I'm still gonna use DLSS, cause I mean, I paid for it. I mean, that's what we're gonna do. Turn that on. Turn that epic, 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 and ray tracing. I'm gonna turn all that on. It's not ideal to play Fortnite with ray tracing on. Like if you're being competitive, you want the most FPS possible. You really don't care what your game looks like as long as you can just like see your enemies and stuff. Um, but you see, it's almost using 16 gigabytes of RAM. Getting a like 88 to 100. Now I have the LSS on, so that makes a big difference. Like it's huge. And this is like with ray tracing. Look at the dang slurp barrels with this. That's just insane. Anybody. <laughs> TSR Epic. Let's see what that's like. Oh, that made my latency. Still sixty though. So it's not it's not bad at all. Also, I think it'll only get better because like the season just come out and normally when the season first comes out, like it's not optimized super well. I told you, somebody was just camping. Ooh, why you gotta sweat like this? Gosh, the combat SMG shreds. Stop right there and hit that subscribe button. Halo Infinite really let me down. I was hoping for a very nostalgic experience. The game was a bummer. But let's see how it did with the 4070. All right, let's. We are just gonna do Team Slayer. For this benchmark, we used the Ultra preset settings for Halo Infinite. Now it's on Ultra, and I got 230. 220. Where's that other map? I was only getting. The other map, I was only getting like 150 to 160. Nah, it's not really doing anything. Dude didn't miss. Uh. 
Why did it not switch guns? And they're all of them are statue right? Next up, we played Apex Legends. We are everything. Got 19, 20, by 1080. All right. Everything. We got V-Sync disabled. Now, we do have NVIDIA Reflex turned on, which is like their upscaling stuff. And everything is high as it will go. Using an insane amount of VRAM. And we are getting like 240 FPS, which is crazy. So that's pretty crazy. Max 240 40 FPS in Apex. I think on my 2080 Super, I only got like... Only got 180, I think. Oh, I got a kill. I got two right there. Let's go. That was a fast game, but that was perfect. That's what I needed. Next up with the 4070, we played Hogwarts Legacy and we put all the settings on ultra and we wizard dueled for a little while and we stayed from like 60 to 80 FPS depending on what was going on. We won. Let's go. We ran a few built-in benchmarks just to see how it would do with some ray tracing on some popular games. Starting with Cyberpunk 2077, we put it on the highest preset ray tracing settings that we could possibly put it on. Of course with DLSS, cause we paid for it. And it got right at 100 FPS, that's pretty dang good. In our last game of the benchmarks, we put on Forza Horizon 5's built-in benchmark at with all the ray trace settings, everything on ultra or extreme, whatever the highest was, and we came out with 142 FPS. Since you made it this far, go watch this video.